If you guys are lacking coins for all the new cards that are out, then check out MuleFactory.com. They're the cheapest site I've found for coins. They deliver in five minutes. And if you use TGC Kurt 5 at checkout, you get 5% off your order. Check them out with the link down below now. What's up, guys? Curtis here, and welcome to the return of the Arsenal career mode. Last year, I did an Arsenal career mode, and... It went down pretty well. The first episode went mental. We got like 150k views. You guys seem to absolutely love it. And quite hilariously, in my opinion, I signed Alexander Lacazette and said, I'm doing this because Arsene Wenger will never actually do this. We're a year on and we've signed Lacazette. So, here we are, about to manage Arsenal with a relatively decent side and... It's going to be interesting. Now, we're going to be in the Europa League, which is a little bit annoying. I'll try and make my group as close to the real one. We've got Cologne there. The third one is not on here. Is Red Star on here at all? Am I being blind? Can I see Red Star anywhere? I don't seem to be able to see Barty Borisov or Red Star. I may be just being very, very blind, but we'll just go for... We'll just go for these teams, I guess. This is what we're going to do. But we're going to do the Arsenal flipping career. We're going to try and actually like make something out of this bottle job that I call my team. We're going to win some silverware and we're going to see some of the exciting new stuff. And we're going to have a bit of fun with this career mode. So if you guys are looking forward to it, obviously if it's your first time watching, you need to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Let's try and like smash through 250k, see how many subs we can get. But after the first couple of weeks of FIFA. And if you guys are enjoying it, don't forget to hit that like button. Smash it. I've not seen anything really about the new career stuff, so I'm excited to actually experience it myself and uh, just play a bit. So it should be a lot of fun. So I'm actually going to do this a little bit like how I do my Football Manager saves on my second channel, if you guys have seen that. Uh, it's going to be quite different to normal. Basically, um, I'm not going to show you guys every single game. We're going to skip over some. We'll come back and look at results. But the more exciting stuff, as it happens, that's what we're going to be delving into. So this cup, we're just going to do a roundup of it at the end. We're going to we're going to make this a bit more of a fun career mode rather than slogging through every different aspect of it. I'm not going to do any of the um, any of the whatever these things are, the catalog stuff. We're not going to touch any of that. We're going to do it all just really generic and natural progression sort of stuff. I'm going to talk you through some of my ins and outs that I'm planning on though. I'm going to transfer list all my players. Apparently it, you don't do it on this bit anymore. This is where I'm transfer listing people. Okay. Ah, this is a sick looking screen, you know. Right, first up, this bloke, you can get straight in the bin. Hopefully we sell him ASAP Rocky. Tafari Moore, loan. Anyone that's young is going on loan. I'm going to loan out Callum Chambers for one more season. Mohamed El Nenny is going to be a key part of the squad, so we'll be keeping him around. Jeffrey and Adelaide's going to be staying here. So you do all... Ah, okay, so it's the same with that. Reese Nelson. Sorry, Jeffrey and Adelaide's going. Reese Nelson's going to be staying. Theo Walcott, transfer list. Maitland Niles, get on that loan, lad. We're going to be keeping Jack Wilshere. We're going to loan out Gideon Zell uh, Zellalem, even though I don't know why he's still here, if I'm honest. Sonny Cazorla, I'm just going to keep him for his last 12 months, just because I love him. Uh, I have to... I can't... But one of these guys has got to go, but I don't know who. I, d I really don't know who. Alex Iwobi, I'm going to add to the loan list because he's still too low rated in my opinion. Nikitia, you can get on the loan list. I've got to sell one of my strikers and I'm going to go for... Na, 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 na. So we're going to see how that goes on. And I'm going to have a kind of bit of a look around and get a bit of a vibe for the scouting. And then I'll, I'll bring you guys back in. We've set a goal to make 176 million from shirt sales. That's mad. So we've got to... No, it's to win Europa League, win the Cup, and win the league. So we've got to win every competition we're a part of. Grow one Youth Academy player by five points. Play them in five games. That's not that important. Critical is 176 million from shirt sales. Win the Europa League. Win the Prem. Win the Cup. Wow, we really have got to work that out. This is going to be tough. The transfer market's open. We've already viewed the objectives. We really, really do have our work cut out. Okay, I'm ta I've taken off all the uh, the suggested um, the suggested scouting things that they had for us. I, I want to sign either a DM or a centre mid, so we're going to do those. We don't want a striker. If we got Lacazette, I really, really don't want a striker. I do want someone that is promising. That's that's the least I'm going to. Ask for just show me promising DMs. That's that's one request. I'm gonna do the set. I want center mids on a box to box. 
pacey player. The age there, anything under 27 works for me. I have scouted an individual player too, which you guys are going to see in a sec. I also, I, I have decided I will be accepting offers for Sanchez should they come in, okay? Big decision, I know. Should they arrive, we'll be accepting them. I'm sure as well people will be telling me I need to set up the training, so I will actually get on that. Uh, Theo Walcott, here we go. His value is 13k. Let's let's have a little go at this then. Let's negotiate this. Don't know what's going on here. Never done this before. I haven't got earphones in. I can't hear it. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Let's get started. Yeah, let's get started, mate. The little Urzil uh, and Alexis on the wall. We're going to be binning off Alexis. Right. Add sell-on clause. No, I, d I don't want back, 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 back. Proposed new transfer fee. Edit. Give me 18 and a half. Apparently, we've got 98 mil to spend. Flipping egg. And then give, give me a 15% sell on. Submit offer. Sorry, we're not willing to. Yep, yeah, that's right. You tell them, mate. This is weird. Oh, that was easy. Delegate to buy. Start the offer, 30 million. Don't offer higher than 50. My assistant manager's going to go buy me Thomas Lamar. Easy as that. By the way, how tricky is our invitational cup? group here. Barca, Monaco and Sporting. Are you mental? Here we go. Here we go. This is the one we were talking about. Give me 70 and we have a deal. Pep, how are you doing, Pep? Are you all right? I didn't even notice it was that Pellegrino, wasn't it, for the first one? Oh, look at him. Pose new transfer fee. Give me 74. 75, technically. It's closer to 75. You're gonna, I've dropped the mic. You're going to give me it? Come on. You know you want to. You're getting an 89 overall here. He's a good player. We've just sold Alexis Sanchez. We have 190 million to spend with the Walcott. Oh, my word. All right, then. You know what we're going to do? We're going to have to buy some players. Okay, I'm going to... I think I've got no chance of getting Lamar because I left it to my assistant. That's a disaster. Can I recover it? Can I go back in? No option. Alrighty then. I saw this lad play last night. Arsenal Doncaster. Go on, give him a scout. I like a few of the youngsters that they've pulled out. I'm always curious about Ronaldo Vieira. I think he could be a little player. And then in terms of the actual centre mids, box to box pacey. Right, I've got some scouting sent out now. I've mainly gone for midfielders and wingers. Central midfielders and wingers. I believe we have enough going on in the rest of our team that we're okay. We've just got an achievement. Investor, apparently. Only 2% have got that. Sell a player and negotiate a sell-on clause with the buying club. Easy as you like. That's Fio gone. That's 15 mil added to the budget that, you know, I could I should have spent on Lacazette. And not on Lacazette, on Lamar. Now, I need to work out if they eventually come back in and let us go for the players again. As it stands, no. Now, this is my current watch list. Very interesting one. I've gone for Ronnie Lopez because... I, I'm considering the other player at Monaco. I'm waiting for the scouting to be finished. And then three PSG players here because I believe with all the players they've brought in, there might be room to sneak someone out. Now, for me, Verratti is the most natural replacement for Santi Cazorla. And he's a sign I've wanted for a long time. You'd have to part with a lot of money to make this happen. But I'm here to talk to Unai Emery. And I think if I offer them... 85 million this might just happen and I don't think it's that mental you know I really don't I'm gonna go in with 72 and a half submit offer bam is that some we can agree on what do you reckon Unai are you gonna give it to me 105 I'm gonna go in for 87 as the next one that's the next offer we can't offer you 98 lads here we go this will leave me with 41 grand in the bank they've got to take 95 I'm going to hold to skip. They're going to think about the offer. I mean, come on, lad. Here we go. Verratti offer accepted. I'm going to come back in in a week with a reasonable offer for Lamar. That's the next one. They want 115k, crucial. Accept. I'm literally not even going to try and bring it down. That's fine. Four years. Accept. No, counter. Five. Tie him down. You're never leaving. That looks actually sick with their, their faces in it, in fairness. That seems way too long-winded, if I'm honest. Right, just to keep you guys updated, this Invitational Cup, we've played three games, we've won every single one. So provided Zenit don't knock us out, we're going to play the final. That'll be the one game for this episode. And we're going to get a bit of gameplay and actually see what it's like. Could be interesting. In fact, we're going to have a look at our training too. Release clause. Oh, well, Hector Bellerin apparently has a release clause, which I've never heard about, of 38 million. I mean, it would have been triggered, but that's a joke. That's just not even remotely true. Way above his flipping, way above his price, to be fair. 
He, you can go to, to Turkey. Can I offer Bellerin a new contract whilst we're sat around? That's annoying. He was so crucial to my plans. Right, where are contracts? I don't know anymore. Is it transfers? Sir, it's not going to be there, is it? Squad. It didn't look like it was in the office. Oh, it'll be Squad Hub, obviously. Oh, please don't go to Juve. I need to get thinking about potential right-back replacements then, don't I? I need a pacey, world-class right-back. Because as part of our didn't mean to do that, as part of our system, the right back's gonna be key. He was gonna be really important. Sorry, Reese, you're not playing in this one. We need the big guns out for this game, I think. To go ahead and beat Zenit. I didn't mean to select that. We but we won 3 1. So who do we play in the final? Is it gonna be whoever finished second in our group? Do we come back to them, Monaco or Barca? It's Barcelona in the final. So this could be my first game on the official FIFA 18. I played the beta, but this is the first official on the game match I've played, Hector Bellerin's gone. That's disastrous. I've got to work out a right back then. Goretzka, I'm going in for Goretzka too. I think we can get him cheap. Nathaniel Klein was the one they came up with. Ugh. I've been sat here racking my brains trying to think of who we could even bring in to be playing there this season, but I have no idea. So, we're going to change the middle. I'm going to drop Xhaka for Verratti to start off with. You know what I'm going to try? This may seem a little bit odd. I was thinking Nacho Monreal could be a good right midfielder, but I don't think it actually, now I think about it, I'm not sure about the pace. I'm actually, it's quite weird. I'm going to start with a Wobi on the right. Cazorla, I don't, yeah, I guess he can come in there. The problem at the moment now is the depth isn't the best because I'm binning off all our squad players, which I'll probably end up regretting. I kind of want to start Wilshere too. I'm going to start Wilshere and Verratti in that midfield and have a real strong midfield. Long term, I could actually see Kalasnak playing games in the middle too. But I think we're just going to start with this. Keep the tactics pretty basic. I'm, I'm not going to fiddle around with this too much. And we're just going to hop into the game. World class, my first match of any type on FIFA 18. Let's do it. Barcelona Cup Final. I didn't even, guys, I didn't even play the demo you know because I played the beta and I didn't want to just play against the computer with nothing on the line it feels a bit like Pez if I'm honest they're actually just quite good to play our first game against aren't they oh especially when your team can't even get it out I thought they'd scored I thought they'd scored so I was thinking about potential replacements Bruno Perez from Roma is the first one I'm thinking because he's just like a proper wing back. I think he might be a right mid on this game now. And then I was going to go for Karsdorp, but he's just moved. And I had one other in my mind. He's in the shortlist. I can't remember his name, but we've still got one more to, to go for. We may also end up keeping hold of Sanchez, which will make things interesting because then ideally we'll sign Lamar. And I'd actually quite happily play Lamar on the wing, or the wing back rather. I'm not sure why Wilsh is here, if I'm honest. He was the furthest player back. And that's got to be a goal. Yeah. Maybe I've got a little bit of work to, to be done. Here we go. Kalaznak has won it back at a sick time. If we can get this pass right. Sanchez. Got her out strength for Semedo. Oh, why did you go down so easily? That was awful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a goal. Surely Rob Holding's the only one to save the day. Oh, he puts in the last ditch tackle. Lionel Messi, what are you saying? So Sanchez is injured. Do I risk it getting worse for the sake of making an interesting match or do I sub him off? Uh, I'm going to stick with it for now. How's if Messi has basically outstrengthed Koscielny there? Oh no. Blame Messi. I've just bought on Welbeck for Sanchez accidentally too. Didn't even mean to. 20th minute we've done a sub. Oh Kalaznak, that's a ball and a half. We are so open with this formation, that's the only problem. I feel like I'm actually controlling the real Arsenal, where if you play against a proper team other than Chelsea, you're just like open in every part of your whole flipping squad. Oh, and when Danny Welbeck's doing that, you've not got any hope. I'll be honest, I've not seen much of Verratti too. Here we go, now's a chance to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's strange getting used to controlling the players, if I'm honest. It's a bit sluggier than I remember from the beta. Like Kalaznak here, oh, I want him to try and beat the man. He's somehow fallen over whilst trying to tackle. Questionable. Here we go, this is when it's good, because we have so many players coming forward. But of course they pull it out the last ditch, insane tackle. And then just like that, Suarez is from goal. They've got such a team, man. It's insane. Now, this might sound like a bit of a weird situation that I've got going on here, right? I'm actually going to change it to, yeah, the 4 2 3 narrows what we're apparently playing. Um, yeah, here we go. So I'm actually going to bring him in, these guys in a lot closer. 
because I want them actually to be playing still off Lacazette. I want to be playing really centrally. So Iwobi is going to be playing left back because I just want us to use some pace. We're taking off holding and Monreal's come on at right back. I've moved Kalazanak into the middle because I want some bulk in there. And then Wilshere is going to still be running around and then we're going to have that trio. It's a really unorthodox front line, but that's the, uh, that's the football manager in me that kind of makes that happen. We can then try and... I mean, what on earth? Why is Lacazette struggled to control that ball? Is that a problem with the game or have I done something wrong there? And at the end of the day, in a match like this, we can afford to experiment with different different players in different positions. We can try Monra out right back, which is something I said I wanted to try. We can play Kalazanak in centre mid. This can happen and it can be an absolute disaster. To be fair, Barcelona is probably the hardest opponent we'll play. So there's always that. I'd like to get one goal. There you go. <laughs> Just as you say it, it happens. Yes, it will be. That's why I kept you at left back, so you could keep flipping Lionel Messi at bay. Fair play to Iwobi there. He's done the absolute business. And Nacho now, cut inside. He's kept it. Oh, Lacazette. Somehow that got under his feet there. That should have been 3-2. That is an absolute stinker. Here we go, Lacazette again. Ah, oh, Testega, what a finish. Lacazette, uh, what a save, sorry, from Testega. And Lacazette's finishing is brilliant. We are going to make one more change, though. Just for the last few minutes, we're going to bring on... Ah, oh, I thought I put Reece Nelson on the bench. Oh, well, I've left myself with absolutely no pace on the bench whatsoever. Guess we're going to do this. We're going to revert back to basically what we started with. Just because I want to bring on Viva El Nenny. So we've been a lot better in the second half. I think this might be what we go for in the league, is revert back to a, a, a four at the back, but be playing it with inside forwards, like we have done for this game, whether that's Ozil and whoever, I mean, it won't be Sanchez because he won't be here, but inside forwards, I think it works. And then you have Lacazette just scoring these. Oh my, he's gone through the net. That must be a glitch in the game because he scored that, definitely. Tom Vermaelen's come on. We're going ultra attacking. Why not? That golden grain did it, right? Nobody saw that. So, I do want Kalazanak to be heavily involved in the side, but in a different way. But that, guys, is going to bring us to the end of this first episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Smash that like button, of course, if you have. Subscribe if it is your first time watching. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.